let's wet our whistles with the myth of beer goggles. I'm feeling a little left out here. And I'm glad. <laughs> What's going on? Beer goggles. Beer goggles. Beer goggles. It's been out there waiting for us the whole time, and for some reason we haven't tested it. The idea that alcohol has this magical property that will make people around you more attractive the more you drink. Actually, I feel like I've been testing this for over a decade. Yes, but that's anecdotally. We are going to test it scientifically. This seems to be a really subjective thing. We need to be objective if we're going to be scientific. How are we going to do that? Large sample size? That's exactly what I'm thinking. And I'm thinking that we rate photos. Specifically, we get a bunch of photos, us of women, you of men. We review a whole bunch and rate them when we're sober. And then we get drunk and re-rate those photos. And see if there's a difference. Exactly. Adam blows 0.11. That's good enough. And Jamie, 0.10. That works. So technically, they're both a bit wobbly. As for Carrie, 0.13. <laughs> Dude, you are so ready for this test. In fact, they're all well primed for part three of the Beer Goggles Challenge. These last 30 faces are a random mix of those they've seen sober and buzzed. She's pretty darn cute. Eight. She's very cute. I've met her. It seems like in each group there's a lot more cute chicks. When he's done, Adam's score reflects his growing enthusiasm. 134? Wow. But the wild card here is Carrie. She was far harsher buzzed, so this could be anything. Carrie drunk. Carrie correct. Her 30 guys look set for another beating, assuming she can still see straight. You look homeless, but kind of cute. It's all right. Even Carrie's surprised that the tide might be turning. When I was sober, I was definitely thinking that confident-looking people looked sort of attractive. And then as I was buzzed, they looked cocky. And then as I got drunker, I was sort of thinking that the people that were attractive were sort of the more vulnerable-looking people, sort of like the more sadder characters. They just, they looked cuter. And that's why men will never, ever guess what a woman is thinking. Carrie's score is 153. I can't remember if that's higher or lower than either of my scores. That's a 64-point jump from last time. Looks to me like we all had very different reactions to the alcohol. What do you two make out of it? I'll tell you what I see. If this myth were totally confirmed, all three of our graph lines would look like mine. A steady improvement in our assessment of the attractiveness of the opposite sex directly in proportion to the amount of alcohol we consumed. It definitely looks like I was way harsher when I was buzzed than when I was sober. And I look pretty consistent all in all. However, I'd like to point out that both of you showed improvement from being buzzed to being drunk. That result, combined with my steady improvement all along the line, tells me this one is easily plausible. Definitely plausible. Okay, plausible. 